this is Judy Sandrock, and in this video, we're going to be looking at updating the code on the Max IQ cores. That is for the ESP32 cores in the STEM starter kits and the advanced mission extended cores. Step number one is connect the core that you're going to be flashing to the USB interface and insert that USB interface into the port on your computer that you're going to be using to flash your code. So here I have two photographs. The one on the left is the extended core connected to the USB interface. And then on the right hand side, we have the core that is in the, the STEM starter kit. Step number two is to follow the links uh, to connect to our GitHub site. So um, since you're watching the video, you'll find that uh, the links are in the description. Um, of the video so you'll be able to find it there and what will happen is that when you click on this link it will take you to our github site and uh, here you will see um, the firmware that you're going to be downloading to flash to your kits so step number three is on this particular page you scroll down to assets and then you select the dot bin file which in this case is the domino 4 version 1.4 dot bin um, we update this on a regular basis, so um, you're always going to see the latest version. Um, this video may be a few months old by the time you watch it, um, so it may be a newer version, but you're only going to see the latest version. Once you click on that version, uh, on that file, that .bin file, what it'll do is it'll download to your downloads folder uh, so that you can find it later. Step number four is to once again follow the next link um, to go to our uh, GitHub site that is involved with flashing. And so what will happen is that you will see that this page will open and you scroll down to the flashing section. And here what you do is that the select the route that you prefer, um, either easy, fast or flexible. And uh, whichever route you choose, please follow the instructions carefully. All the instructions for all three routes are there on that page. Um, and uh, in step number three, uh, you downloaded the .bin file that you're going to use when flashing. So what I do is that I always take the easiest route and I used Moo Editor to flash my kit. Step number six is disconnect your kit from your computer and build your kit with the components that you prefer. Power it up using the USB interface. And in this case, in this photograph, I've just used a power bank. Configure your kit name and Wi-Fi credentials in the same way as you did with the STEM kit. And in this case, you can see I'm using the extended core. So what I've done is that I've taken the screen that I received in the starter kit, and I'm using that so that I can actually see what my, my kit name is so that I can configure it with the name and the password. Step number seven is to check if your kit is actually connected by accessing the, da the Kibana dashboard. And the address is exactly the same. It's data.maxiq.space. And if you haven't accessed it before, please go to the Getting Started with Kibana video and you will find the link to that video in the description uh, uh, to this particular video. On the Discover tab, Remember to select the SDG index and um, add your name, your kit name or group name to the search bar and you will be able to see your data there. If you're connected to the internet, your data will be there on our MQTT server and the Kibana dashboard. In the case of the extended core, um, on the dashboard tab, you will see a template dashboard that we've created called the Extended Core Template Dashboard, May 2022. And if you'd like to save this as your own dashboard, please remember to save it as a new dashboard, give it a unique name um, that you will find once again. Uh, good luck and hoping to see your data on the dashboard.